Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther and today we're going to check it out some neon effects in Photoshop. It's very important to choose a dark image because that way the glows are going to shine and it's going to create a really nice contrast between uh, the shining glow and the dark background. So I'm going to go with black background. I'm going to drag and drop this image, which also is kind of dark. I'm going to scale it up, double click. I'm going to select the quick selection tool and click on the subject. And this is going to eventually highlight the subject and we're going to mask it. Click here on the mask. And from here, we're going to create the glowing tubes. We're going to create first a new layer and I'm going to select the brush first and I'm going to right click and make sure that you're on the accurate side. And here we're going to adjust the size of the triangle. So as you can see, the brush size is on 24. I might decrease it a little bit more and the hardness is going to be on maximum. Now we're going to go and choose the pen tool here and I'm going to create a triangle like how I did before. And I'm going to connect it and I'm going to right click here, go to stroke pad and let's select here the brush. Click OK. I'm going to rename the layer as neon and I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to go and choose a color for it. Click on the color overlay and I'm going to go with cyan. Click OK. Next, I'm going to activate the inner glow. Here the opacity should be on 100. We also got the contour. You need to change it to the surrounded one. And all you need to do is decrease or increase the choke. And as you can see, this white fill is going to become thinner or thicker. Or if you also adjust the size, it's going to do the same thing. But this is going to be the inner glow of the neon, basically. I'm going to decrease it somewhere around 31, 13. Now we're going to go to the outer glow. I'm going to change it again to cyan. Click OK. This should be on a linear dodge. I put the opacity some around 50%, but I'm going to increase it now to 72 eventually, a little bit more. You can adjust the size. It's around 50. The spread is on zero. Now we're going to go to drop shadow and I also going to change this to cyan. This is basically going to add even more glow, going to make it even more stronger. You can change the opacity from default and you also can increase or decrease the size. Check this out. This was the default and how good it looks with at least 110. And we're going to change it to a linear dodge. Good. And I'm going to click OK. Now, all we need to do is cut out this area. So it's going to look like the triangle is behind the head. But we cannot mask it like this on the layer. So we're going to need to put it into a folder first. So here is the folder. Click on it. And I'm going to drag and drop the neon into the folder. And I'm going to add the mask on the folder. Click. I'm going to select the brush. And I'm going to go here to the model layer. Press and hold control and click on the mask. It's going to highlight the model and go and click here on the neons mask. Now this way we're going to delete this section right here. I'm going to press control D to deselect and this is how you make the neon. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.